Welcome to uh, this special event, which uh, we have called Nano Art. I was contacted by uh, an organization called Geo Holding. Together, we were innovating and came up with an event that we wanted to do together. So we decided to combine innovation, industrial design, design art with nanotechnology. It's pretty risky because in physics, the physics part of nanotechnology mostly, this is way out of the box. My name is Anders Beitels. I am the uh, workshop leader today at NanoArt. And uh, what we're seeing behind us are a number of uh, uh, researchers, designers, uh, small enterprises uh, trying to collaborate to find new means of, of how we can use knowledge from the academic world and turn it into something useful for the society. And also it's very important to find an understanding of how we can work together in the future. On one side you have the researcher who has a lot of knowledge and is very focused on a certain field. On the other side you have the designer who's used to turning techniques and materials into products, buildings and so on. And what they're doing now is, is actually the analysis phase. Uh, the researcher tells the other participants what they're working on and try to explain their field of work. So I get free-stranding uh, graphene. And then this uh, graphene can be start to vibrating. And since it's uh, such a strong material, the vibrations will be very fast. And in this sense, it's usable in high frequency electronics, for example. So that's my, that's the research purpose that I use those methods for. Well, if you heat up no, the laptop yeah, with your muscle power, then you could actually use uh, more healthy fuels, right? So you could use like olive oil if, if it was warm. So basically what we're doing is we're making three sketches here. One is explaining the ideas we had during our brainstorm and then one is explaining the technique behind this. And the third one is simply explaining two scenarios. One without our technique and then the factory all blows up and then one with our technique and then we indicate this is a problem and you fix it. We really realize how, how hard it is to grasp this new technology and to transform it into some creative ideas because we know that you know we have all this basic physics and everything in this case here the nanotechnology and it's hard for a generalist to, to really get this all together and try to at the same time understand and at the same time be creative. Just over a couple of minutes here we see that the, the group is transforming into something creative. It's also nice to see when the experts try to explain what they, they really you see that they never really thought, ever, they haven't thought everything through here. There is so many good ideas that can be applied uh, on industry. This is opportunity to know more about uh, what kind of the new technology can be applied uh, for the new ideas we have for improving the materials. It just brings a lot of ideas in my mind today. So I thought it's really good idea to have this kind of connection between university, new generation and industry. You can see from all the groups here discussing and interacting, I mean, the artists are really interested in, in, in knowing what uh, researchers are doing. Uh, I can, I mean, for my group, uh, we were talking about graphene and suddenly we, we were talking about all these wonderful properties of the material and then artists or the designers came up with potential applications that, that we wouldn't come up with. So it has been really, really interesting. We got quite surprised now when we sit here with 50 people being very creative all around us. It's wonderful. I worked with uh, ceramic materials and more specifically fuel cells, high temperature fuel cells. Uh, today we talked about different ways of getting the material porous. One very interesting application for fuel cells is that it is silence. So it's a generator or we want to use it instead of a generator to produce electricity. And it is silence per definition. <laughs> I had not thought of this silence idea. I think it was a brilliant idea and, and 
this is really something that I want to work, that I want to develop. It, it's really obvious from today that researchers and designers look about things in a different way. I think it's very important if you want to reach a new development to combine the researcher and the designer because you, you get new ideas that you just hadn't thought of before.